everybody, it's Lindsay from the Craft Studio. I can't wait to do a craft with you. I'm so excited. Um, we are gonna do these 3D pointillism cherry blossom tree prints. So what you're gonna need to make them is a plain white piece of paper, some brown and green tissue paper or construction paper, a glue stick, a Q-tip, some scissors, some watercolor or washable poster paints, and specifically we need blue and pink, and a paintbrush and some water for your brushes. All right, once you have all of your supplies, we're gonna first use a paintbrush to paint the blue sky for our paper. So go ahead and get your paintbrush and you can see that the sky, um, I use different um, amounts of paint on my brush. I did a little bit of thicker color and that's when I use only a little bit of water with my watercolors and where I want the sky to look very nice and airy, I used a lot of water to make my watercolor paints kind of sheer and not as bold. Um, so go ahead and dip your paint in the water and get your paint ready and go ahead and paint that sky and unpause me when you're ready. All right, so now you're going to take your brown tissue or construction paper and we're going to create some branches for our um, cherry blossom tree. So you can use scissors and cut or you can rip. Um, I am going to go ahead and rip right now and I'm going to just get about four strips and I like that it's kind of like this, like jagged. I'm gonna get three or four of them. I'm gonna do one long one to be the trunk. And then the others I'm gonna kind of rip into branch size pieces. So I'm gonna have one long one and maybe four branch size pieces like this. Then I'm gonna take my glue and I'm gonna put glue where I want it on my paper. And I want the long one to go right diagonally down the middle. So I'm gonna double up on the glue and I'm gonna put glue on the paper and I'm also going to take it and put it on the back of the strip. And I'm not going to put glue all around the perimeter, just down the middle of it, because once I stick it on, I'm going to manipulate it a little bit. I'm going to fold it. You can twist it a little. You can rip it some more. So it looks like a real tree branch trunk. Tree branch or trunk, rather. So this is what I, I have right now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the little pieces, adding them all around the main big trunk piece. Go ahead and do that. All right, the next step, it's so much fun. We're gonna make the flower cherry blossom dots, which um, is silly because we're gonna use a Q-tip to do it. And we're gonna do it with a style of painting called pointillism. It's where you make a picture using little dots and it will look just like a cherry blossom tree. So I'm getting my Q-tip wet and I'm gonna find that perfect like cherry blossom color, like a pinkish, purplish, reddish, whatever you have. And I'm gonna peck like a woodpecker or dab. I'm not gonna brush the Q-tip like a brush stroke. I'm gonna instead go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down to create these amazing pointillism cherry blossom dots. Go ahead and do that all over your page. All right, you guys, now we're gonna create some green leaves. And on my sample, I just ripped tiny pieces of green construction paper, but I'm gonna show you um, now using green tissue paper, which you could do this with construction paper too, how to make a really cool leaf shape that you could do. You can fold your green paper in half, and then you simply just take your scissors and along that fold line, you cut out a half circle, and it will look like a leaf shape. And you can do a few of them to kind of put leaves that are scattered throughout your tree trunk and tree branches. You can do all different sizes. And then if you want, you can also go ahead and tear some green pieces to glue on as well. And then when it's time to glue on, you can do the same type of thing that we did with the brown construction paper. You can double up putting a little bit of glue right on your paper and then taking your green leaf and putting it on and scrunching it on after it's on there. And if you use construction paper, you'll want to do the same thing I did with my tree trunk construction paper and also put glue on the back of the paper and double up. I'm using tissue, so I don't need quite as much glue. But if you're doing construction paper leave, you do glue on the paper, glue on the leave, and stick it on. Go ahead and put your leaves on, and then we'll look at each other's finished product. Thanks, guys. Go ahead. And bravo! You have your own 3D cherry blossom tree 3D print. 
great work. I can't wait to see what yours look like. Maybe my friend Ben can show me pictures of what your artwork looks like. Have a wonderful day. I'm so happy you got to craft with us. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye from Lindsay and the whole Craft Studio team.